Hello everyone, I'm Robin with Robin33. I had a custom order from a customer, a very good customer, for a lemon tear tray set. So I've gone ahead and painted everything already, but I thought you would like to see how it's put together. I'm also going to be using some UV resin on some of the pieces, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Um, I, I like to use the Loctite Gel Control Glue and with this to open it you have to turn it and then you can unscrew the top. So let me pull you in a little closer here and we will get started assembling this so you can see. All right. First of all, these pieces right here are the pieces that are going to go with the banner across the top of the tear tray. So, all you need is a little bit of gel on here. I like that this is not a runny glue and it just sticks like super glue. I try to put it in place and then just hold it down for a second or two. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I go live or when I have new um, new tutorials listed. And if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, I'd really appreciate it after this video. Alright, so this gives it that 3D effect. We had some really good success the other day when we did the um, tear tray, the blueberry tear tray, using the UV um, UV resin. It really made some of the pieces come out looking real. Now this is Signature Light Cure UV resin. This is a clear. This is the little UV light and you can set it for 30, 60, or 90. Now, when I did the other set, I set it for 90. It was still a little tacky. Reason being, with resin, you have usually a silicone mold that you put this in. This is not silicone. So the light cannot shine all the way through. So what I ended up doing was taking all the pieces that I put resin on, putting them on a cookie sheet, and putting them outside in the sunlight for about 45 minutes. It cured it completely. So if your light does not work, first of all, they tell you to plug it into your computer. That's not strong enough. You need to plug it into, like I have an adapter that I use for my Apple iPhone. So I have this cord plugged into the adapter, plugged into the electrical outlet. It does much better. All right, so for these, we're gonna actually add some resin in between here. These little pockets here. All I'm doing is filling each pocket with the resin. If you have a bubble, you want to work on those before you put them in the light. And it's just a matter of sticking a pin in it. Or I like to use my skewer from the Dollar Tree because it has a point. And it just pops it. This just really makes it look real. So, then what you do is you put it in your light. Let's see if we can get this so you can see it. Okay, I just slide it on there and I hit the 90 second. See how the light goes on? Now if you're new to my channel, I usually try to put tutorials on here in between the days I go live, which is Monday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time or Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, this probably will not do 
this probably will not make it hard to the touch. So I will be placing this whole set out in the sun. This um, resin came from Michaels and the signature UV light came from Michaels. I'm just going to go ahead and push those in the back there. Actually, I'm just going to start it over at 90. And I think I'm going to just cover the top of this too. I want my stuff to look shiny. And when we use this on the blueberries, boy did it come out nice. Make sure you go back and check it out. And I didn't have like a mold for this. And this stuff did not run or drip over the side. It just stayed on top. Which that's what I was worried about. I wasn't sure if that was going to work like that. We're just going to load all this in here. It just makes your tear tray come to life. Now see this is the exact same way that I colored it with my paint markers and all I'm doing is kind of like sliding it across to the edge and like I said if you have any bubbles you want to make sure that you pop them or they will leave a divot. I'll just go ahead and put a little on top too. We gotta make this whole set look real for her. Now, see if we have enough room to do this. Let's cover the top of this piece. You can dot. Again, it, it doesn't seem to want to like fly over the edge, which is great. Now, make sure we get everything in there. There, turn it on. All right, the next piece we have going together here is the truck. So, what I'm going to start out doing is gluing the frame. I'm just going to put a dot in each corner and then a dot in the middle. These are like the UV lights that they use when they're doing your fingernails. There we go. Now, let's see where that's going to fit. And all I'm doing is squeezing the, the sides on this bottle here. And it does allow you time to put it in place. The set has a lot of pieces to it. Um, some of the pieces will be listed separately because it is one of my bigger sets. Like I said, they're going to require going outside. Now I think I'm going to cover the top. 
top of the lemons on this one. Dot the little bubbles. And I think I'm going to pour a little in here to make it look like a windshield. There we go. stubborn bubble. There. Just needed something with a flatter point to it. So this has got six more seconds here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out and just move them to the side because I know they're still tacky so they're going to need some more UV light but I am going to put that in there. There. So let's go ahead with this one. This is what I'm really looking forward to doing. This is my own design. It is going to look so cute. Like there's real lemonade in there. And I'll probably end up putting most of this together and totally finished on my live Monday night. Spells out the word lemons and for the O we have a lemon slice. They don't say anything about wearing protective um, mask on this, but when you do it inside and, and it's closed in, you can smell it faintly. So it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and wear a mask. All right. Now with this one, we're going to put a little bit in each one of these holes. out. Put that in. Then we will do our hello. And what's nice about these sets, they are cut on our laser cutter. So no more paint in the sides. You just have to paint the top or the bottom. A 
that's a lot to fill. I don't think I'm going to go ahead and fill that one. So we'll leave that off to there. All right. Now we have a crate of lemons to do. Now this gets glued to the side. like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little here and a line across there. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Actually, we're going to put these right where they go because this is going to help us with the top rail because they have to stop at the lemon. So we're going to do it that way. So then this one is going to go right there. And I'm going to butt it up against that. Now with this one I used yellow paint and green paint and then I used this um, folk decor wax, antique wax, and I just antiqued the whole thing. Okay, now we're going to try and space this in the middle and hold it down. There we go. Now we could do these lemons. I'm just actually drawing on it like I would with my markers, my paint markers. So there's that one. Let's go ahead and put that under. Now let's do this one next. And we have the noon. This is done already. probably didn't need to paint these, but I did. The best thing to do before you glue certain parts on is to make sure we have it in the right position. There, see? I had that upside down. So I find it easier to line up my pieces usually ahead of time and then go back. I 
and these sets are so easy to paint with the um, paint markers so do not let them intimidate you now I think we are going to fill that one Sometimes it helps just to outline first and then go back and do a fill. And then kind of swirl around gently so as not to create bubbles, but then to fill it in even more. Just like you're painting it. And I'll tell you, when this dries, it is the cutest tear tray. I mean, go back and watch our um, blueberry one. There's some divots there. Okay, let's pull this out. You can see see the shine? Let's put this in. And put our noom together. See the gel really holds, really stays where you put it, which makes it easier for application. And you have time to just reposition it there. Now next, I'm going to glue his nose because that needs to be up against his hat there. And then we'll put this where we have room for it. straight Oops, a little crooked There we go. Better. If you put too much on it slides, you're better off just putting a few little dots. Now for this one, we're going to fill in the holes, and we're going to do his hat. really even squeezing this. And it's such a nice sunny day out there. This will be cured in no time.
usually our gnomes are not this big, but this was done for the customer. You see the sparkle? I'm going to actually take it right up to there. Alright. Now with this one. What I'm going to do first is glue this in place because this is going to make the area where I'm going to pour the, um, the resin, it's going to hold the resin in that area. There we go. Now we've got two little ice cubes, we've got some mint leaves, and we've got some lemons. So we're going to glue those in place. because I'm going to fill this whole thing with resin. So I want it to look like a really nice full pitcher. Oh, I must have already glued that one. This one I did. Yep. Well, it already had the cap off. <laughs> Make sure I get that off my hands. Alright, we're going to pour resin in between the sections on the lemon. I think that's all I'm going to do because there's going to be a thin layer of acetate on top of that and then I'm going to be gluing this on top so it's going to make the whole thing look shiny so I won't need I don't think I'm going to need to fill that in we will see let's move our little guy out here I think he needs a little more in here So I'm just going to go back and put another thin layer on him. And like I said, it will not dry completely using the UV light because it's not silicone and it can't see through. Alright, we're going to put that back in. And then we'll do these. all this is going to go outside in the sunlight and then I will be back and we will finish this whole thing Okay, everything has been dried in the sun. It only took like a half hour out there. That is rock solid now. Okay, so we're going to finish the picture and then we're going to work on the banner. 
All right. Now what I went ahead and did was cut a piece of acetate. That's just a hard plastic. So that's going to go over there. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here to grab it. could also make a shaker out of this and a shaker you put things in there and then they can rattle around this will hold it in place if you look back at my videos we had them the, the uh, mermaid shaker set that we did under the sea now I went and sprayed a clear shellac on this and this and this I used the Zinzer Zinzer shellac in the can. Check that out. Does that not look cool? All right. So everything is put together except our banner. And we're going to work on that now. Got three of these and two of these, and these are going to go in between. I can use just regular old twine for this and where is my tape well here's a little piece we can use I always tape the end because it makes it go through the holes easier already poked holes through here so now we're just going to be stringing everything together see I wouldn't have been able to do that earlier I'm just amazed at how quick it dries. This just kind of, the little UV light just kind of sets it up, but then the sunlight just dries it right to the bottom. Which, if we had it in a silicone mold, we would be able to do that. Because that's clear all the way through. not sure how far apart she wants these so I'm actually going to leave the string attached so if she wants it longer or shorter she just liked these banners so we went ahead and we made some of those cut this kind of long because like I said I don't know what what her tear tray is like and this way all right okay Everything has been dried in the sun. It only took like a half hour out there. That is rock solid now. Okay, so we're going to finish the picture and then we're going to work on the banner. All right. Now what I went ahead and did was cut a piece of acetate. That's just a hard plastic. So that's going to go over there. 
So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here to grab it. You could also make a shaker out of this. And a shaker, you put things in there and then they can rattle around. This will hold it in place. If you look back at my videos, we had them the uh, mermaid shaker set that we did under the sea. Now I went and sprayed a clear shellac on this and this and this. I used the Zinzer Zinzer shellac in the can. Check that out. Does that not look cool? All right. So everything is put together except our banner. And we're going to work on that now. Got three of these and two of these. And these are going to go in between. I can use just regular old twine for this. And where is my tape? Well, here's a little piece we can use. I always tape the end because it makes it go through the holes easier. I've already poked holes through here. So now we're just going to be stringing everything together. See? I wouldn't have been able to do that earlier. I'm just amazed at how quick it dries. This just kind of, the little UV light just kind of sets it up, but then the sunlight just dries it right to the bottom. Which, if we had it in a silicone mold, we would be able to do that. Because that's clear all the way through. not sure how far apart she wants these so I'm actually going to leave the string attached so if she wants it longer or shorter she just liked these banners so we went ahead and we made some of those cut this kind of long because like I said I don't know what what her tear tray is like and this way alright okay tear trays come in all kinds of sizes we have this one that you can buy as a kit and put together there's big ones. This actually has um, some little wooden balls on the bottom with a candlestick in between. This is a Dollar Tree pizza pan. This is a plate. Um, if you're looking to make one of your own, go back and look through some of my videos. There's a lot of videos out there that I show you how to do it with cake pans also. But for this one right now, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Now when I use, when I decorate my tear trays, I use a lot of boxwood. And this is in my um, Etsy shop. It just makes it 
it's an easy plant just to put in there and show a little greenery. Um, it just kind of spruces it up. We have some that have the white flowers on it, and then we have some that don't have white flowers on it. So there's, there's a variety in there. Now, if I was going to do this, I would probably put that up there. I'd probably lean that there. Um, let's see. Let's move that over there a little and put that like that, that we needed the lemons to make. And then I might put that down there. I might put that there. Um, this, we could put that here. There's no right or wrong way to decorate these. Okay, It's just however you want it to look. I just like a little greenery with mine. Um, I think it really makes it pop. Let's see, let's put the truck in the middle. Let's put this up here. And then let's put that in there on top of that. And then we can put that in there. And then what you can do with this is you can tie it. You could actually put it down below here and put a tassel on the end. We have a tassel maker in my shop. Um, if it was round or square or rectangle, you can also tie it here and hang it that way also. But like I said, some people like to just lay it there and put tassels on the end. So there is our complete lemon set. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I will be putting this in our shop. It's one that, like I said, I had a request for. So I thought I would make one up. These were all done with either acrylic paints. Um, I use the Posca paint pens. I'm not a real fan of the white one. And I'm not a real fan of the white acrylic paint, so I always use the white Adirondack chalk paint from Home Decor. It's always a bright, crisp white, and I like that. Um, the yellow was either the marker or this bright yellow apple barrel paint. Um, for his hand and nose, I use the Artist Loft. This one is called Road, or it's called Portrait Pink. It is the closest to skin color that I found. And then again, we use the, um, <coughs> the signature UV Light Cure Resin, and this is the clear. <coughs> All right, thank you so much. Have a great day.